good morning. morning. Or I guess we should probably say good afternoon as it's now about 12.15. We ended up having breakfast at 8.30 this morning and have just been chilling, watching Castle and some YouTube in the room because the thing that we have planned today, which is climbing Mount Tapias, is best done at either sunrise or sunset. And clearly we missed sunrise. So I think our plan for today is just to kind of wander around the town. But before we do that, we're both feeling hungry already. So we're gonna go for lunch now. Let's head on up. Essentially, kind of like a meat harangue that we've had in Bali. It's fried noodles in a stir fry. It looks great, can't wait to try it. And the great thing about this is that it costs 110 pesos per dish. The expenses are just under $3 per person. Amazing value. We've just spent some time resting, doing a little bit of work, but now we're on to the main event of the day, which is to head up to Mount Tapias. And hopefully we should be able to catch the sunset up there. I don't know how long it's going to take us. We've kind of heard conflicting reports. Basically, it's at least 700 stairs, maybe more. Could take us 40 minutes. According to some girls we met, might be 15. Could be a year. We have no idea. But the reason that we're not holding the camera today is because we met a lovely friend at our hostel whose name is Erin, and she's kindly filming for us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So, yeah, how are you feeling? Not bad. Yeah. The view is already really good. Like, you don't have an unobstructed view yet, but the little glimpses that we get are for sure amazing. Yeah, I think that's kind of providing me with the motivation to go up all the way because the views up there are probably going to be even better than here. Yeah. I think Aaron summed up, like, your feeling mm -hmm. on this in one word. Sweaty. Yes. <laughs> That was like perfection. Yeah. But we continue on. and they weren't lying whoever they are. The views over Corone Town and then also Corone Island are beautiful. Like we were picking out where we went on the snorkeling tour yesterday. We could see the jetty and today we were in like this square and we could see that. So it's been fun to kind of pinpoint these places that we've been. It's just unprecedented in terms of the views that you can get because it's not just about being able to get a view of Peron Town and also the islands that we visited yesterday which were basically like directly in front of all of that. You can get as close to a full 360 view of the surrounding area and that's surrounded by 
huge mountains on this island and a bunch of other islands that you can all see very clearly, even I assume on a bad day as well. Don't get me wrong, I am very much a sweaty mess after 720 odd steps, but the view is always worth it. Yeah, we've definitely been spoiled for views on our trip. Mm. Like just a quick look back. Yeah. Pitarangala in Sri Lanka was pretty epic. Lipton Seat in Sri Lanka. Penang Hill. Penang Hill in Malaysia. Yeah. And Victoria Peak was amazing. So those are just the ones that are most recent, I think. Absolutely. We definitely have done a bunch of other ones in order to get ourselves through trails and just see some absolutely spectacular scenery. And don't get me wrong. Physically, it can be a bit more taxing than you realize, especially in heat like this. But when you get to the summit, then what you get to see as a result is second to none, and it just stays with you forever. So, And it means that we stay fit on the road. 100%. So if you find yourselves in a similar kind of situation, you're like, oh, should I? You should. Just do it. <laughs> which is kind of like a chopped stir fry with egg and then the final piece was a sizzling blue marlin which came with rice and fried egg on top as well honestly some of the best food i've had in a while what did you think it was stunning like the nicest seafood i've had in a while as well the shrimp were so so good yeah okay. i think it was absolutely amazing and it was kind of nice that we got to like share it all family yeah, style that was actually really nice yeah. i like this final Exactly. And when you consider the fact that each of those meals was about $8, then yeah, absolutely amazing value. Yeah, so, that's cheap seafood. Yeah, yeah. really cheap Normally seafood. it's expensive. Especially so. for something that's basically caught fresh. Yeah, so. it definitely just comes straight out of the sea. <laughs> so, really, really good choice. I think we're just going to go chill, watch some something on a streaming service. Most likely. Probably. We'll figure that out and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. That's so cute. <laughs> Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. We've had a somewhat leisurely start to our morning here in Kuran Town. We had breakfast which was served on for us again. Nice light fluffy pancakes with a lot of coffee which is much needed. And we've been catching up on some work and also doing some relaxing ahead of then going out grabbing some lunch as well. We went to the same place that we did yesterday, which is super cheap, really, really good stuff. Um, you had a different kind of noodle dish this time? Yes, it's called Pense Bahon, I think. Yeah, and I ended up having something called a pork salog. It's kind of like a nasi lamak or a nasi campo. It's basically rice with an egg and in this instance pork, but you can have tap salog, which is beef tapa, chick salog, which is chicken, like there's all sorts of different ways you can have it, but basically it's the same kind of dish. So that was delicious. And then we also tried looking for some sunnies for you as well. Yeah, my sunglasses, one of the lenses popped out and the frame cracked. I'm upset about it because I love those sunglasses, but I'm not upset about it because they're literally from the dollar store. They cost me $1.25 and they lasted me at least two and a half years, so I really can't ask for more, but I just didn't find anything that I liked at all. We'll keep looking though. Yeah, sunglasses I feel is kind of like a necessary thing to replace because of the countries we're in and the climate. Yeah. Like it's hot and sunny, so I need to protect my eyes. Exactly. But what we're about to do is go to Maquinan Hot Springs. It's about 30 minutes out of town and we're going to take a tricycle to get there. Uh, 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 uh. 
We've just made it to Mackinac Hot Spring after a very bumpy tricycle ride. Yep, that was not the most enjoyable. I was in the back carriage where there are no seatbelts and I definitely hit my head on the top of it multiple times as we were going on that road. I mean, I didn't have a seatbelt on either, but like I was holding on for dear life. Yeah. We made it and the entrance fee for here is 600 pesos, which is about 15 Canadian dollars. And just so that anybody knows, we got quoted the standard price for a return tricycle ride, which is 700 pesos, which works out to about $17.50. So if you are going to be doing this from Karam town, then account for somewhere between 30 and 35 dollars in your budget for this. I can't wait to go relax. Me neither. Hot springs, here we come. Yes. It's basically that kind of temperature. Does it feel warmer than you expected or? Yeah, I think so. Like definitely it will heat your core up a lot. So it's like a full on hot tub. Mm -hmm. Full on. It's apparently 102 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that feels about right. I don't know what that is in Celsius. But it is lovely. Come on. Well, that was just lovely. It's not every day that you get to go into a natural hot spring anyway, not least a saltwater one, which is heated purely by volcanic activity. Not only was that just a very nice way to spend the best part of an hour, but it was also extremely unique and experience as well. Really nice. Yeah, I am thoroughly relaxed. It's a really good way to kind of unwind, and also like if you do the Mount Tapias hike, this would be a really good way to help your muscles recover from that. Not that it's too difficult, but you know, still. Yeah, I think it was a perfect way to cap off our time in Caron. Absolutely. I think another thing just to make note of is that we did set off from our hostel at about four o'clock in the afternoon, which is about an hour and a half prior to sunset. So we got here about 4.30ish and there were barely any people and now we are leaving. It's about 5.30 and there's a swathe of people that have just come through. So clearly we picked a good window of time to actually come visit. So if you want to have a slightly more secluded and exclusive experience, then it's probably better to come between the sun being at its peak and about 5 o'clock. Yeah, I think we came at a good time because we avoided the hottest point of the day. Mm -hmm. It had already started cooling off. But also, as you said, we avoided the crowds. And people do come here because they say you can see the sunset. But the view out to the water is actually not on the side that the sun sets. So yeah. I don't think it's important to be here right at sunset. No. But all in all, though, a very worthwhile experience. Oh, it was 100% worth it. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go back to our hostel and get ready to go for dinner. We've made it back to our hostel after a delicious dinner that only cost us $8.50. $8.75, I think. Oh. It but still. And one of the things you should know about tap salag or pork salag is that it's actually a breakfast food. 
And little known fact about me, breakfast is my favorite meal. I could eat breakfast all day long. And so it's kind of funny that in a foreign country, I am also leaning towards breakfast food. This is classic you. Even when you don't mean to, you end up having breakfast food. Yes. Fantastic. All things considered, that as a restaurant was really, really good. The service was wonderful. Even when the lights went out, then they were still like apologizing profusely, trying to make it as comfortable as possible, and they still managed to get the food out, which was amazing. And it wasn't even their fault, because as I mentioned, it was a town-wide power exactly. outage. And then when we did get the food, it was superb. Absolutely delicious. So, all in all, it's been a very nice dinner. Yeah. Could not hold that. We have a very early start tomorrow, so we're going to try and get an early night nap. Absolutely. So, until next time, take care. And keep smiling.